Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our postgraduate digital event uh, this afternoon. Thank you all so much for joining us. And most importantly, welcome to the Faculty of Art, Design and Humanities. My name's Nora, and as it says on the screen, I um, have the pleasure of working in marketing for art, design and humanities. And we hope that today you'll find this session extremely useful. Um, we hope that it helps you to find out not only more about De Montfort University and its facilities, and what it has to offer you so that if you, when or if you join us or you decide to join us or you're joining us um, this September or the following year, that this talk today from Professor Carolyn Hardacre, who is the head of school for fashion and textile, will be giving us a presentation to give you a greater insight into DMU and the world of uh, fashion and textiles. Um, if you have any questions for Carolyn about fashion and textiles, if you can please post those questions in the chat function and then there will be an opportunity when Carolyn's finished presenting for her to answer any of your questions. Um, if you are interested in any other postgraduate courses, um, please do also add uh, those questions to the chat. And if Carolyn or myself can't answer them, we will make sure that they're forwarded to a postgraduate academic who will obviously ensure that they answer them and possibly even arrange a one-to-one -one call. Um, in case you're not aware, if you're only just joining us, there is an online chat available uh, throughout this event, which runs until 6 p.m. Um, tonight. And there are current postgraduate students and administration there, which can answer any of your questions. And at the very, very end, we will add an ADH marketing email so that if you've got a longer question and you don't want to put it in the chat, um, please put it in there and someone in my team will pick it up. So I'll stop there for you and um, I'll invite Carolyn Hardacre to join us and share with us about the fantastic world of fashion and textile. I'll leave it to you, Carolyn. Oh, thanks, Noreen. Thank you. And uh, yes, welcome to this live stream. It's, it's great to be with you this afternoon. And um, I've got a few minutes to go through the, um, the activities of the School of Fashion and Textiles. Just want to give you a, a really quick overview of, uh, of what we do here in Leicester at De Montfort. Um, we've got a great reputation for fashion and textiles. We, we've, got, um, we're, we've got a global uh, recognition uh, with the business of fashion and also for our response to circularity with um, our Green Gown Award um, for next generation learning and skills. So just really to, to give you a bit of a flavour first, and then I'm going to talk a bit more about our postgraduate offer. So at De Montfort, um, fashion and textiles um, is a, a really key part of the university. And we have a, a large department with around about 45 academics, um, 34 technical instructors, just over a thousand students study fashion and textile courses with us across undergraduate, postgraduate and postgraduate research. Um, and these are across um, eight undergraduate programmes and six postgraduate programmes. And we are also very much involved in research as well. So uh, across the board, we have research happening with our academics and students and a particular focus is textile engineering and materials research which with a group led by Professor Jim Shen. So about 25 PhD students uh, are studying with us at the moment and we're based in a dedicated art and design building and you'll see a, a video of that a little bit later on but it's a uh, a really great space to work and to, to be with like-minded um, individuals. So I think when you're choosing a course uh, to study in a new institution, it's really, there's so many different institutions out there to choose from and why choose De Montfort? And um, I want to really just answer those questions hopefully for you this afternoon, but we do have a, a unique set of programmes uh, facilities are amazing in terms of the, uh, the physical facilities um, in Leicester in the VJ Patel building. We, are, we have great heritage, but we are really future facing and we have a very innovative, responsible curriculum 
student support is, is key to that. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about this um, block teaching approach that we have at De Montfort. And our student support in terms of universal design for learning, which is all about um, hosting materials, study materials on a virtual learning environment for flexible learning. We are well connected and have really good industry links uh, across um, the industry within the UK and globally, which of course leads to um, excellent employability for our students. And then we have postgraduate research, as I've just mentioned. So, so I want to go through some of those areas for you this afternoon, real snapshot of the university and, and fashion and textiles. So, so we have got great heritage in this area. Leicester is a manufacturing hub for fashion and textiles and has been so since the mid 20th century. And the university today is formed from Leicester College of Arts and Crafts. Um, and the, the strap line back then in the, the early 20th century was that it was the gate to opportunity. So really key to our ethos today. And we have a unique offer, again, linking somewhat back to the manufacturing heritage. So we have a unique offer of practice based and business based programs. So I'm just going to very quickly, a bit too quick there, uh, flick through some images of um, student work at undergraduate level um, to show you the, the, uh, the diversity of the practice based courses that we offer. So we have fashion design, which is where you can specialise in women's wear, men's wear or knit wear. Textile design, where you can specialise in embellishment, print, knit or mixed media. Fashion textiles, where you can specialise in textiles purely for fashion outcomes. Contour fashion, a very uh, rare course to find um, a three year degree course specialising in the production of items, fashion items, garments that contour the body, be that through the use of stretch fabrics or be that through the use of boning for corsetry. So contour fashion is a three year course dedicated to the production of lingerie, swimwear, sportswear, corsetry, nightwear and um, sportswear, sorry, 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 said sportswear. Another of our specialist programmes is footwear design. Again, not many universities offer this specialism, uh, only another one in the UK uh, based in London. So footwear, very much a specialist programme where you can study for three years, um, kids, men's, women's performance footwear. Our um, other programmes um, include communication and styling, fashion communication and styling, looking at the image that fashion product creates. And our business programmes um, include fashion buying and fashion management. So the undergraduate programmes are very much focused across all of those areas with a key driver that looks at sustainability and circularity. So we are working to these facts and figures where we have uh, a tremendous amount of garments being created each year, many of them going into landfill, and we are really looking to provide students with opportunities to work towards a more circular system. So our systems, our projects are all set up to think about circularity and responsibility. So whether it's, it's making product or it's promoting product, it's thinking about how we can do that in a, um, a responsible way. And this leads through to our research endeavors. So here we have one of our PhD students with her award-winning research into enzyme coloration, looking at using natural um, chemicals, natural enzymes for uh, dyeing and finishing. It also covers um, the use of digital. So digital is a key part of um, 
our pro design processes, uh, whether it's uh, looking at the use of 3D models to uh, reduce the sampling process, looking at the use of AI for uh, creating design concepts, looking at um, the use of VR for uh, creating 3D models. So digital is a key part of um, where we are looking uh, forward to. So our postgraduate offer uh, is a real springboard from our undergraduate disciplines. So we have six postgraduate programmes which cover fashion and textiles, sustainable textile technologies, contour fashion innovation, fashion management with marketing, digital design and design innovation and management. So I want to just go through these programmes very quickly, give you a quick snapshot of each of those programmes. So Fashion and Textiles MA is a creative programme and looks to take students that have got a, a degree, an undergraduate degree in fashion or textile design or footwear to de develop their learning, those students learning and progress their their design uh, abilities further at MA level. So it's a very much a creative journey, we like to call it, uh, for students that have got that BA, they have the skills and uh, they've got those um, intrinsic uh, skills for fashion design and want to really push that further. Contour Fashion Innovation, MA or MSC, depending on the, uh, the technicality of your project work, again wants to uh, provide students with a fashion design or contour fashion design uh, background with the opportunity to specialise in lingerie or in athleisure or loungewear or any of those uh, related subject areas. So it's very much for a student that has undertaken a three-year undergraduate program, has those design skills, um, has those making skills, those pattern cutting skills, and wants to specialise in an area of contour fashion. So a really rare offer, a really great um, opportunity. Sustainable textile technologies. Again, you'll, you'll see the sort of theme coming through brings in uh, students from lots of disciplines. So it brings together students from fashion, from design, from buying, from marketing, from engineering, uh, from science backgrounds to look at the development of sustainable textiles and involves a lot of uh, use of the laboratory facilities that we've got at De Montfort to uh, investigate testing and performance of textiles. So um, again, a really great opportunity to develop from a broad range of backgrounds into this really key area. And with all our programmes, we've got great links with industry and industry projects are a key part of the curriculum and uh, gives you that chance to get involved and network with different companies in these areas. So uh, the, the management programme, uh, fashion management, the, the USP here is very much about um, looking at how you can bring a product to market within a global industry. So it's looking at those strategic skills that you need to be able to uh, develop a uh, successful product um, marketing um, operation and again it it looks at a really broad um, um, set of criteria for students wanting to um, look at this as, a, as an option to, for them to become the next uh, future managers within the fashion industry so students with a design um, degree or a fashion uh, degree or a textiles degree or a business degree are welcome to apply for this particular programme. And we do offer a September and a January start for this particular programme. 
Now our next program, um, uh, Design, Innovation and Management. So this is looking at not necessarily just fashion, but all different uh, design disciplines and is looking at developing students and business, looking to, to, to develop you as a business professional, as a design professional, to understand that interface between design and business, be that through design research or, or design management. And so the, this program is really broad and covers design thinking and design research methods, covers management and brand management, looks at service design, looks at uh, business planning skills, and again, really thinks very deeply about sustainability issues. So again, another program with a broad entry criteria. And then our digital design program is for um, graduates, for undergraduates that um, students that had that, that BA or BSc that are really keen to make a career change and really upskill in digital design. So features um, uh, modules um, in UX UI, in web, web and application design, empathy mapping and user-centered research. So our MAs, MSCs, and some of them are both MSC and MA, and it, um, the differentiation really depends on how technical your project um, for the, uh, the final semester is, um, are, are really designed so that they will attract students from a wide range of backgrounds. And we really see that as, as quite a strength of our offer because our cohorts are so diverse. So I mentioned right at the start of um, the talk about block teaching. And block teaching is um, a way of teaching that De Montfort University uses to enable students to really focus on their academic studies. So it means that you study one block or one module at once. So in, uh, say, fashion management with marketing, block one is global fashion management. And you study that particular block. You don't have any other modules or units uh, that you're working on at the same time. You're just doing that one thing and the assignments that are associated with that one module. So the way the teaching is set out is that uh, we have uh, four seven week blocks and there's a gap between each block. Some are longer than others. It depends where the winter break falls and uh, the spring break falls. And uh, you will study in the first semester two blocks, two seven week blocks. And then the final semester, the blocks are combined to make one large block which has a, a gap in the middle um, and you will do the equivalent of a 60 credit project or module. So there's a really even spread of assessment through the year and also you are just, you are studying that one topic area, that one unit at once. And the way we worked our um, postgraduate um, system is such that in block three, for postgraduate is our um, electives block. So for each of our programs, we have a, a module or a, a unit that you will take and you have a small amount of choice and you will be working with students across the postgraduate suite. So it's a really good opportunity to, to meet and work with other students that are studying with us at postgraduate. And all of that happens in the VJ Patel building. We've got uh, a great art and design building here at, in Leicester at De Montfort. And uh, all the design disciplines are in this, uh, under this one roof. And the postgraduate suite is in this sort of curved bit at the front um, where you would um, come for your uh, lectures and seminars. So uh, a great building and um, Faye's got a short video to show you at the end of this. 
Um, but the facilities are open access, so in term time they are open into the evenings and some of the studios and um, teaching rooms are open at the weekend. The workshops, the practical rooms are manned by technical experts and so there's expert technical instruction uh, available, uh, computer suites available within the building and um, 24 hour access to the library as well. So hopefully uh, that very quick run through has uh, given you some answers to, to why DMU, the, the set of programmes is a unique offer. Uh, the facilities are unique and our approach to teaching with block teaching is really focused on supporting students, enabling students, enabling you to, to get the most out of your uh, time with us and to be as successful as you possibly can. Um, our links with industry are uh, really um, comprehensive. We've got lots of uh, live projects throughout our courses within the school. We're really proud of that, uh, those links. And um, our research is something that you might, as, might want to think about as well. Who knows? So thank you very much and i um, very happy to take any questions. I'll stop sharing. Lovely. Caroline, thank you. Caroline, thank you so much for that. That was thoroughly interesting. I know I've only been with De Montford myself for six, seven months and I never tire of coming along to your presentations and I'm sure our viewers took a lot from that uh, presentation and um, they may have some questions for you. Um, if you do want to add those questions into the chat, please do. Or if after this, um, there's any other questions that you would like answering, um, we'll share with you at the bottom of the screen the ADH, which Faye's just put up now. That ADH marketing at dmu.ac.uk, that um, email comes straight to myself and my team, and we contact monitor that daily. So if there's any questions you think about now or afterwards, please do send them to that one, and then we'll forward them to Karen or to the right academics if it's regarding another postgraduate that's not necessarily in fashion and textile. Um, so I suppose, Carolyn, for myself listening to this, um, one of the things I thought was very interesting, you started off with about the Green, the International Green Gown Awards. Yeah. And um, is that something that's fairly new to um, De Montfort or is it something we've always sort of won the award for? Is it kind of fairly new to us? It's, it's a really prestigious award and um, it's sponsored by the United Nations and the UK Research and Innovation uh, Department amongst others there's quite a number of sponsors and it's an international competition uh, so there's uh, um, universities from across the globe enter the Green Gown Awards and so we won the UK uh, HEAT for next generation learning and skills. And that was for our, our approach to circularity and sustainability. Um, and we were uh, runners up in the international green gowns last year for the same award. So absolutely thrilled that we had this uh, fantastic recognition. Yeah. Um, so many universities across the world are entering into uh, to this. Yeah, I think there's, there's definitely an area on our website, isn't there, tells more about the green gowns and that yeah. I think, um, was it 56 universities entered and there was only 12 highly commended. So I think it's a very proud accolade that we are yeah. one of them 12 as well. And it links very nicely into a whole, well, the whole ethos of De Montfort and sustainability. And then we've got a dedicated master's course that looks at sustainability and fashion as well. So I think they link very nicely hand in hand. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. For the two of them um we've had a few questions really just asking us about um i think that i think we've managed to answer most of them um about sort of something to do with the finances for the intake and stuff like that um and i think um i think i mentioned that earlier we have got um the line chat as well and i think we've got some administration team that can talk about the finances and for anyone who studied an undergraduate may or may not be aware i'm sure they are that there's the the 20 discount for those students if they've been at demont for an undergraduate so if that's something that um, you would like um 
our pits asked a question, um, Karen, if you see it, about the digital design course. I wonder if you could tell them a little bit more about that. I don't know whether there's a specific question, our pit, you wanted to know, or um, that maybe Carolyn didn't discover earlier, or was there anything particular on the digital design course? Yeah. Do you and I could also, also put you in touch with the programme leader for that course. There's actually two colleagues that work um, across um, that organisation of digital design, but it is uh, um, it follows the block teaching um, structure. The first block is very much a, a live project, getting everybody as a bit of an icebreaker, getting everybody um, together and working on a live industry project. Service design is a key part of digital design, so looking at how information is, is um, navigated through an organization and looking at how you can design that um, so it's as effective as possible. Uh, UX UI is a huge part of uh, digital design, so user interface and user experience, um, and web, designing for the web or designing for apps. And also looking at new technologies. So we, uh, we give the students the opportunity to um, investigate something new that they may, may not be taught by us at the university, but they can go out and investigate some new piece of equipment or a new piece of software and uh, look at how that can integrate into a particular project. So uh, a really quite a broad program. Um, and as I said in the presentation, that block three that middle block is um, uh, an elective block. And so I can't quite remember the electives for uh, uh, digital, but um, it's where you will be able to work with other design disciplines as well, which I think is a really important aspect of anybody going into to design to be um, have those interdisciplinary um, skills. Yeah. But I can put, um, I can give Noreen the, the programme leaders. Um, yeah. I was just think, yeah, I was just thinking that what I can do, our pit is I can, um, if you want to email me on that ADH uh, marketing, we can give you the um, email contacts for those. And as I say, those academics, if you see the ADH marketing at DMU, our pit, if you can just send um, a little bit more there, because I know you're asking about um, the sharing of the topics and stuff like that, then I can give you the contact details. And I'm sure those academics would very happily do a one-to-one -one chat with you and answer your questions, maybe if you haven't got enough information there from um, Carolyn. Carolyn, one of my questions is going to be about AI. I know you've looked at an undergraduate. Has that come through to postgraduate as well? Because I know obviously that's quite current. So, time. yeah, that will be part of that. that we, we call it technology for design, but it's uh, looking at new technologies, new emerging technologies and how they can be used. Um, mm -hmm. And so we are leaning in, as the phrase goes, to uh, AI. We are using um, AI to think about design, generating design concepts um, and thinking about how you need to have that cultural context, that cultural education to be able to put in the right prompts. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that background knowledge in all aspects of uh, contemporary culture and, and more historic um, uh, references to be able to, to use AI successfully. But yeah, we are uh, yeah, leading in yeah and i think i think you're right there karen i think it is one of the things isn't it it's having that knowledge in the first instance with with everything with the ai you've almost got to know what you want to put in first and then the outcomes could be different than you were thinking and it might take you then to another level like you say and take your design skills further on than that um i don't know if anyone's got any more questions yet um RP, i'm glad we've been able to answer that for you so uh, thank you for your question on that um does anyone else got any more questions for Carolyn? So I'm conscious that we're coming up to the half hour mark. I'm not sure if it automatically shuts off um, or whether we suddenly lose you. So I hope that isn't the case at half to half an hour. Um, um, but hopefully we can uh, stay here chat if anyone else wants to. But as I mentioned earlier, there is the, um, if you want to go on to the online chat, 
um, that's on till six o'clock and um, people there can obviously answer any of your questions and if they're anything about finances or anything to do with the courses they'll definitely feed back to us afterwards as well um, and also um, at 5 30 um, to six o'clock we've got the international student live stream and that's hosted by our international office and that kind of includes guests and international student support so if we have international students um, who are interested in knowing a little bit about settling life in at DMU and focus on your arrival when you're here if you're joining us that might be worth going to at 5 30 if you um, follow the uh, channel for that you'll be able to help with that especially anyone from an international so do we have any more questions for Carolyn for a week we'll let her get back on anybody got any more questions that you want to ask now if not as I say please do email us at ADH marketing and we will make sure that Carolyn and her team get them so I think if that's all right with you, Karen, what we might do is end up with that video. So especially for any students who haven't had the chance or are not able to come on campus, um, we've got a short video that I know Faye is going to share with us. Um, it gives you just a bit of an insight on what the campus looks like and obviously the building VJ Patel that we're very proud of. And um, I know that um, especially when you're traveling, if you're not able to, I hope this gives you a little bit of sense of the um, where you'll study and give you a feeling of um, the facilities that you can use and um, hopefully um, the video will come up soon and I'll just hopefully wait for Faye to bring that up but thank you Carolyn so much for joining us thank you for taking your time and for anybody else who's come on to the um, onto our chat then um, please um, you're very welcome to stay to six o'clock to get any more answers thank you